this video, I'm showing you every aspect of my Air Canada flight, including the check-in experience, the lounge in Tokyo, and how it feels to fly across the Pacific Ocean in a live flat sea. Oh, and stick around to the end to find out how I use credit card points to book this flight for next to nothing. Good morning fellow travelers, welcome to the channel. I'm Ari and today I'm flying Air Canada Business Class from Tokyo Narita Airport to Vancouver, Canada. Check-in was super easy, there was no line so I basically just rolled on up and it took about two minutes so that was very quick. Now Air Canada does not operate its own lounge here, it partners with ANA and United Airlines so I have the option to either go into ANA or United. Not really sure where I'm gonna go, I think ANA if you want more Japanese food, United if you want more American food so I'm gonna think about that as I go through security and I'm gonna pick one of those two lounges to show you guys today. There is a separate security line for first class, business class and Star Alliance Gold members. Looks like there's no line, let's zoom on through. Passport control is pretty futuristic here. You just scan your passport at an automated gate. The machine scans your face and the gate's opened. So you never actually have to interact with a human immigration officer, which is kind of trippy, but okay, it works. It was very quick, very painless. And now I'm walking towards the lounge. Wow, Hermes, fancy. If you haven't seen my main vlog on Tokyo on my channel yet, check it out. But I visit Akihabara and there's a store here to do free Akihabara. It's like a mini version of the real thing. So if you're missing out on your anime gear, stop by the airport. You can grab on your way out. All right, I just sat down at the United Club here in Tokyo Narita. First impressions, the entrance was a little dark and gloomy. They definitely need to add more light, but the actual dining space, it looks good. Let's go check it out and grab some food. So, I'm not too terribly hungry. I got a few things. Starting off with my coffee because I have not had coffee today. This one's a must. There's a mix of uh, Japanese and American food in the lounge here, which I actually appreciate because I've been craving American food after about two weeks <laughs> traveling around Asia, but just got a few things to try here. We have dim sum noodles and mystery meatball. Not to say what kind of meatball, this was, but let's give it a shot. Looks like your standard meatball here. Our fruit's really good. I think it's like a teriyaki marinade, but the center of this meatball, it's like really soft. Like, it's tender. Now for the dim sum. Again, it didn't say what kind of dim sum it was. It just said an assortment of dim sum, so I just grabbed one. Honestly, it tastes like the meatball. I think they're using the same meat. The dim sum has, I think it's chestnuts inside the meat, but the actual taste of the meat, I'm pretty sure is the exact same thing. With just the sauce and the outer layer is different, so. All right, not bad, not bad. I was looking forward to taking a shower in the lounge, just to try it out, just because I think it's fun to take showers in lounges. I don't know why I just do, but unfortunately there's a sign, showers are down today, so it won't be happening. I have about a half hour to kill in the lounge before heading to my gate for boarding. Finally heading back home. Can't wait. Looking forward to sleeping on this flight. I'm really, really tired. The business class cabin is arranged in a one, two, one seating configuration, with each seat offering ample space to spread out. So just looking at my seat, nice full-size pillow, perfect for an overnight flight. A lovely pair of like slippers. I can't wait to change it on my shoes and slip these on. Yeah, that's the good bed padding. So this one goes on your seat as a cover. It's a mattress pad to make it softer for you while you are sleeping. 
and nice thick blanket. Take a look at this lovely Aqua Depana amenity kit. All right, what do we have here? Lovely pair of, oh. Not so lovely eye mask here. This is not good material at all. Yeah, this is fairly plasticky, not at all comfortable and not adjustable size wise, so not the best eye mask. Thankfully, I bring my own of these flights. Okay, next up, what do we have? We have this thing, a microfiber cloth. Maybe this is to clean a camera lens if you own a camera. <laughs> or a pair of glasses, but strange little microfiber cloth included in your amenity kit. A pair of foam earplugs. This will definitely come in handy if there are crying kids on board. Thankfully, no screaming yet. Dental kit. This is kind of cool. It has a toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, and mouth wand. All in one. This is nice. Some nice aquadipana hand cream. I'll probably end up using this one in here. One hand cream and one lip balm. Oh. This doesn't taste very good. But lip balm. My lips are actually kind of dry, so this is nice. And the last item in today's amenity kit is a nice pair of long socks. So socks plus the slippers. I actually like this. It's a good touch. In terms of storage options at the seat on your left hand side over here above the seat controls. Oh. How did that get in there? Yeah, that's all my stuff. Um, yeah, this compartment here, as you can see, GoPro size for comparison, little wallet, hard drive, pretty decent sized space for small things. You have a remote control here. I don't really know why you need a remote control, touch screen, and also the actual screen itself, which is also touch screen. But you have both options if you need. You have a power outlet right here, uh, USB, headphone jack. You have electronic seat controls on this flight. It's always fun. You can recline your seat, bring your leg rest up. Yeah, let's do English. Oh, French and English options. Very cool. Oh, physical and touch. Just kidding. And that's it in terms of storage space. I have been on other flights where you have more storage space, but honestly, I think this is fine. The seat itself is very comfortable. You have plenty of space to spread out and relax. So, so far, loving the seat. So pro travel hack on long flights, bring a pair of pajamas with you and change before the flight takes off. Pajamas on, I feel much more comfortable and ready to try the airline food. Love me a good looking salad. My appetizer was sliced duck with passion fruit sauce. Now I generally don't like the flavor of duck, so this wasn't for me. Dinner was another story. The basil crusted chicken breast tasted phenomenal. We have a lovely chicken breast and mashed potatoes with some vegetables and a nice tomato sauce. It looks very good. All right, we're just the chicken. It's actually really good. The green coating on top of the chicken breast is a basil crust. It actually goes very well with the flavor of the chicken. They copy each other very well. It's a very tasty combination. It's very good. It is overcooked. Airline chicken, you know, I can't really expect from people who cook chicken, but it's a little too cooked. But aside from that, the spices, the seasonings, it's all there and it's the perfect portion size. And I'm sorry, this is not actually mashed potatoes, this is polenta. It's alright, it's not bad. You can definitely taste the cheese in there. It's, it's decent flavor, nothing special, a little bit bland. But for airline food, it's actually fine. It's good.
I was actually in Vancouver back in June. I mean, how cool are these guys? There is definitely something different about coming into this airport. I've made it to Vancouver, Canada. Just waiting for my luggage here at baggage claim. It was a very nice, comfortable flight. Uh, there were pretty much no issues. The seat was very comfortable, very spacious. The food was okay. Nothing particularly special, not, not great, not bad. It was fine. Service was good, very nice flight attendants. They came around to check multiple times to see if I need anything. I was able to actually sleep for a few hours, so I rested a little bit on my overnight flight. Still pretty tired, but overall, very good flight, very comfortable, very positive experience, have good things to say. Booking this flight with credit card points is relatively simple. This experience cost me 74,000 Air Canada miles plus 37 Canadian dollars. You can transfer credit card points from American Express, Capital One, or Chase to Air Canada's frequent flyer program, book your flight from there, and you're ready to fly. If you've enjoyed this video, you can help me out by liking this video and leaving a comment down below and sharing with one or two of your friends. I'll see you guys in next week's episode. Later.